Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh by Shem Shai, by Hashem Kadash. Double honors into the apostles, double honors into the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers that do this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth among the heathen that look like the heathens. And to the Akwath that are listening and learning, to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson in truth. And um, and in honor of the work that some of my fellow laborers did, um, they were making responses to a, a comment, I believe, that one of the apostles made. I didn't see that particular video. But it, the the question was why are these uh, why do Christians not talk about the fall of uh, of the kingdoms in the last days, the bringing down of the nations? Because the ushering in, because now as uh, Elder Yasha Wamba had said that uh, now the Christians know that the kingdom of heaven is going to be here on earth simply because they've been watching us. All right, they under, they get that and they understand that now. All right, but. Um, None of these kingdoms, see, they, they have this very erroneous saying, God bless America, when America does everything that's opposite of, of the Bible, that's opposite of what's godly and pushes it hard. So when it talks about, you know, and then how is it that, you know, the greatest kingdom that's who's ruled over the entire earth and whose influence was over the entire earth not be written in the scriptures? America is the extension of Rome and, and this very and this is one of many artist depictions of, of the four kingdoms when they, they yet they have five because Europe they, they, they left America out purposely that feet of iron and clay but that's NATO and America's connect is connected as the head of NATO even though it's it's a European Union but it's still a part of NATO and America's at the head of that. And it's falling apart right here at the feet, right there. So th that should say, uh, you know, NATO, not Europe. But that's their way of telling you uh, the truth. So um, the, the what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, Daniel. This isn't going to be a long video, but man, I, you know, I think it's going to have a, uh, and I pray that it has a, a serious impact. On understanding, you know, as I'm uh, jumping on the coattail of these great works that the brothers have already done, and uh, and add this to it, but I'm coming out of the uh, that Oxford annotated Bible. Let me show it. All right, and it's a it's a annotated Bible with apocrypha. Which pretty much lines up, you know, is, is pretty close to what the King James says, standard revised version. And like I said, I still want the the version that's not revised, the very first one. And um, and I'm going to read Daniel 2 and 44. And then I'm going to read what it says in the notes, in the study portion, what the scholars wrote. Uh, and it's funny what they write and then what they kind of avoid. Because after this, we're going to go to Isaiah 14 and, and 2. And then jump down to 12 through 16. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll leave the 12 and 16 for another date. 12 through 16 in Isaiah. But this is Daniel 2 and 44. And it reads. And in the days of those kings, the gods of heaven will set up a kingdom. The God of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, nor shall its sovereignty be left to another people. So when it says it's not going to be left to another people. Who's telling? Who's breaking down this vision to 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 uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar? Daniel is, and who's the god of Daniel? You know, his his god is the same god of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, which is the god of the Israelites. All right, so the kingdom that's being set up is the kingdom of of, of the god of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his people, the Israelites. So it's telling you right here, it's not going to be left to another people. Right. Um, and it says, and it shall break in pieces all these kingdoms, it shall bring them to an end. All right. And it shall stand forever. So 
the tabernacle of David shall be set up and it's going to stand forever. This isn't something that's happened already. This is something that's in the midst of happening now. All right. This is this is a, a prophecy that's in play. OK. And it says. Um, and they shall break in pieces all these kingdoms and shall bring them to an end and it shall stand forever. Now, let's go down to. Uh, to the notes. And uh, 36 through 35, and it says, For the writer of the five kingdoms, uh, Babylon, Media, Persia, and Greece, all right, and the coming universal kingdom, <laughs> and there is no universal kingdom. He just said, see, this is where they begin to lie. Look at this. He says, the, the, they wrote in here, you see that right there and the coming of and the coming universal kingdom of God. Then it lies and says that uh, the declining kingdoms was was divided was the solutions and the Ptolemies. Yeah, that was true. But Rome was reborn. How was Rome reborn? You go to Revelation, the 12th chapter for that. Rome, Rome was uh, was reborn the, uh, through 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 the Renaissance. All right. America, you know, uh, um, is basically the rebirth of Rome. That's why your, your constitution and all your um, your statutes and, and laws are all mostly written in, with with uh, uh, with Roman numerals. All right. So this is this is what Esau does. He tells on himself and and then he uh, uh, he tells the truth, but then he throws lies in there as well. So how is it that the prophecy says it would not be left to no other people, but then these Edomites uh, put, 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 you know, put into the book that the coming of the universal kingdom. How is it the Lord going to destroy the kingdoms and then the people he destroy also get to rule? You, you, that makes absolutely no sense. And this is a subject that they don't like to talk about or try to avoid. And, and it's getting to the point to where the Lord is putting them in checkmate through this word, through the prophets, man. Which is how we know they're going to come against us so hard. So let's go to Isaiah 14, uh, 1 and, and 2. All right. And let's read what it says in here. And it says, and Yahweh will have compassion, because that's all capital letters. So that's Yahweh. That's Y-H-W-H. All right. Which breaks down to Yahweh, not Yahweh. All right. Not Ahiah. It's Yahweh. It says, and Yahweh will have compassion on Jacob. See, it didn't say all the nations. It said he will have compassion on Jacob and will again choose Israel and will set them in their own land and the aliens will join them and will cleave to the house of Jacob and the peoples. Oh, I love the way this one is written. <laughs> the aliens are the Israelites. The peoples are the heathen nations. And we'll, <laughs> That's clear if you have understanding. And the peoples will, uh, uh, I mean the them, all right, is, is, the, is the other nations. And the peoples will take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel will possess, that's how you know the peoples is the house of Israel, will possess them, the other nations, in Yahweh's land as male and female slaves. And they would take them captives whose captives they, uh, they would take those who were their captors and rule over those who oppressed them. That has not happened. That's how you know that the people in the land of Israel are frauds. Because the Israelites will, when they go home, they will have dominion over the whole world and they will take back those who sent them into slavery. They would take, make them, to make them slaves. That's and it's ooh we this is this is fire man. Let's we're gonna read that again through the lens. Let's uh all right pause and read. All right if you don't have this Bible pause and read and the Lord will have compassion and will again choose Israel and will set them in their own land and the aliens will join them and cleave 
to the house of Jacob and the peoples will take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel will possess them in the Lord's land as male and female slaves and they will take captives those their captors and rule over those who oppress them. Now let's go down to the notes. All right. Let's go down to the notes, man. One and two. The return from 14, one and two. The return from exile. Aliens proselytes to Judaism. No, to, no, to back to the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. That ain't go trying to throw that Jewish Tamu worship in there. Referred to as post exilic. Prophecy, all right. So there it is, man. The Israelites <laughs> returning. Uh, and, and, and what is this? This is the kingdom of heaven that will be here on earth. There's no way around this truth, man. So, with that, you don't want to give all praises, all honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bakakadash. Wa ba 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 kwam yasurala shalom.